as we consider the nominations of Dr. Christopher Brummer and Mr. Brian Quintens to serve as commissioners of the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. The CFTC is charged with fostering open, transparent, and competitive financially sound markets and to avoid systemic risk. Further, the Commission is tasked with protecting market users and their funds, uh, consumers and the public from fraud, manipulation and abusive practices related to derivatives and other products that are subject to the Commodity Exchange Act. In order to fulfill its mission, the Commission is comprised of five commissioners nominated by the President with the advice and consent of the Senate. Unfortunately, there are only two commissioner, or there are two uh, commissioner vacancies at the uh, CFTC, or perhaps fortunately, and that is what brings us here today. As noted by the CFTC's own mission statement, farmers, ranchers, producers, and commercial companies are end users. That includes um, municipalities and pension funds and others use markets to lock in a price or rate and focus on what they do best, that's innovating and producing goods and services for the economy, most importantly, creating jobs. It is essential that the CFTC have individuals in charge that truly take that mission statement to heart, as the innovation and hard work of our farmers and ranchers seems to have been uh, forgotten in recent years. As I have said before, it was not the farmer, the rancher, the producer, or the commercial end user that caused the great financial crisis of 2008, yet they are paying the price. Many of us here raised concerns when Dodd-Frank was being considered and insisted that the legislation should not negatively impact those who had nothing to do with the causes of the 2008 crisis. It's important to note that this was a bipartisan concern. Yet, when Dodd-Frank became law and the CFTC began writing new regulations, it is, in fact, our farmers, our ranchers, our country grain managers who felt the heavy hand of overregulation. We hear the concerns from constituents who describe in detail the regulatory overreach stemming from the Dodd-Frank Act and its implementation. In order to address these concerns, this committee passed a bill in April titled the Commodity End User Relief Act. The bill champions compromise and a responsible solution to providing regulatory certainty to end users while increasing uh, customer protections. As the futures and derivative markets have grown to include a producer's input costs like fuel, fertilizer, so too has the producer risk management toolbox, and more options for managing risk are a good thing. It is clear that Congress should not withhold needed regulatory relief from our farmers and ranchers and risk management service providers any longer, nor should the CFTC. The CFTC must look through the lens of regulatory practicality, not the lens of irrationality. I am pleased that <laughs> Chairman Massett is recommending the automatic drop of swap dealer de minimis levels be pushed back one year. It is important that the Commission have more time to analyze the issue to better serve our farmers, ranchers, and end users. It is also important the CFTC discontinue its expansion of its jurisdiction where systemic risk is not present. It is imperative that all Commissioners understand the historic nature of, of the markets and the CFTC regulates and truly understand risk mitigation as well as associated the cost of regulations. I thank both the nominees for being here today. I look forward to your testimonies, and I now turn to my colleague, Ranking Member Stabenow.